Are you at risk of a stroke? With just a few lifestyle changes, you can prevent the chances of a brain attack more easily than you think. Did you know that someone in the UK has a stroke every five minutes? With UK government figures revealing there are 32,000 stroke-related deaths in England each year. A woman in the UK is three times as likely to die from a stroke compared to breast cancer. But, despite this, one in eight British women wrongly believes that a stroke could never happen to them. And this denial can cost lives. There is a greater number of stroke-related deaths in women. This is because women live longer than men, and women tend to have their strokes when they are older. Here's everything you need to know about lowering your risk. How to tell if you're at risk. It's not possible to completely prevent strokes as there are some risk factors, such as family history and ethnicity, that are out of our control. If you have a parent, grandparent, brother or sister who has had a stroke, or you're Asian, African or Caribbean, your threat levels increase. Diabetes, high cholesterol and atrial fibrillation or irregular heartbeat are major risk factors, too. But the biggest cause you can control is high blood pressure, which is a factor in up to half of all strokes. That's because it can weaken blood vessels, making them more likely to split or rupture. What is a stroke? A stroke happens when the blood supply to part of the brain is cut off. Like all organs in the body, the brain needs oxygen and nutrients provided by our blood to function properly. A stroke is a brain attack. Bleeding or blood clots cut off the oxygen supply to vital brain areas causing weakness and numbness, which can lead to permanent disability. Damage to brain cells can also affect how you think and feel. There are two main types of stroke, ischemic due to a blocked blood vessel in the brain, and hemorrhagic due to bleeding in or around the brain. Blood clots that cause ischemic strokes typically form in areas where the arteries have been narrowed or blocked over time by fatty deposits. Take control of blood pressure. Blood pressure tends to rise as we get older and often there are no symptoms, so many people don't realize they have it. Given the importance of blood pressure as an indicator of overall health, it's shocking how few people prioritize taking their readings. A quick test using a cuff around your arm which will puff up to apply pressure will reveal your score. The ideal reading is 120 80ths of a millimeter of mercury, but if it's 140 90ths of a millimeter of mercury or above, it's considered high, and will need to be assessed as it can put your arteries and heart under huge strain. If you're aged between 40 to 74 years old, a test will be included in your NHS health check. Or, you can use an at-home monitor. Take a warning seriously. The good thing about a stroke is that sometimes you get a warning, so you can get medical intervention to help prevent a full stroke. A TIA, transient ischemic attack, is sometimes referred to as a mini-stroke. It's the same as a stroke but the symptoms last less than 24 hours. A TIA should be treated as seriously as a stroke, as 1 in 12 people will have a stroke within a week of their TIA. Half of these will occur in the first 24 hour after the TIA. How to reduce your risk. Leading a healthier lifestyle is key to stroke prevention. Reduce salt intake. Too much salt can raise your blood pressure. Use herbs and spices, ginger, lemon juice and chili to flavor meals instead. HRT concerns. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT, can slightly increase the risk of stroke. Research in the UK and Spain found that for every 1,000 women on HRT, an extra 6 will have a stroke and an extra 8 will develop a blood clot. The risk is low. If you are worried, talk to your GP. It's recommended to quit cigarettes. Smoking increases your risk of having a stroke. It also means that if you do have a stroke, you're twice as likely to die. What you're drinking. Do not consume more than 14 units of alcohol per week. Lose weight. Being overweight increases the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Stay active. Regular exercise can cut your stroke risk by around 27%, found a US study.
Aim for 30 minutes of moderate exercise at least 5 times a week. Check your medication. If you have a medical condition that increases stroke risk, make sure you take the medication that you're prescribed such as statins for high blood pressure. If you're worried about side effects or other long-term risks, share your concerns with your doctor or specialist. Don't stop taking any medication without discussing it first. Limit alcohol consumption to keep yourself healthy.